Let's talk about Opuntia, the prickly pear cactus. This is a central and eastern North American native cactus. Uh, you know, cactuses aren't just desert American southwestern plants. Uh, we have a, a cactus that is native to uh, the central and the eastern part of North America, and it's Opuntia. Uh, we're just going to say Opuntia species in this case uh, because some of the ones that are available on the market that you want to uh, grow in particular are going to have maybe a little bit of hybridization done to them, uh, so they would be Opuntia X. And the one I'm standing front, in front of in particular I think is a little bit of a hybrid. I don't know that for sure, but Opuntia probably X thornless blue, a thornless, a thornless variety of Opuntia. Uh, but we're just, we want to just call this prickly pear cactus. We just want to know an Opuntia when we see it. Uh, well, how are we going to know? Big, big flat paddles. Uh, these are called cactus paddles, uh, are displayed on this, a very architectural plant. Uh, and it's starting to put on its fruit uh, right here. Uh, a lot of this cactus is edible, uh, so you can eat uh, parts of this cactus, and some people do that. Uh, but it's a great landscape plant. We've got it here in a rock garden in the full sun. Opuntia's blooms are quite beautiful, uh, typically a big yellow bloom. Uh, that is quite nice and really covers the plant in its entirety uh, with these big paddles kind of coming through the blooms. Uh, the blooms don't happen all at once. Uh, they're going to uh, be kind of a sporadic bloom and uh, really are nice on this uh, kind of plant that's native that maybe looks like it doesn't belong here. Opuntia species, the prickly pear. This is a herbaceous, considered a herbaceous perennial hardy from zones four through nine, uh, can get anywhere from uh, just under a foot, depending on where it's grown, uh, so just under a foot to uh, up to two and a half foot tall, can spread out one to four foot wide in a lot of cases, loves to be in full sun, loves dry uh, areas, uh, very tolerant of uh, pests and diseases, uh, of course, rabbits don't bother this plant. Other things that, that nibble on uh, herbaceous perennials don't uh, bother this plant. Uh, so a good, tough landscape plant. Here's a landscape tip. No serious insect or disease problems. Various root rots may occur, particularly when plants are grown in soils with poor drainage or too much moisture.